video, I will fill up the manila envelope folio that I recently made. It's this one right here. It's This is number three in the and the last of this three-part series about this little folio. My name is Laura, and I'm from the Queen of Mirth. And I'm so very happy to be here doing this with you. So I'd like to get on with it. The folio has... Um, in my last video, we made, actually, we did the background papers for, for this whole folio. And I hope you can see the whole thing. I think if I move some things out of the way, you will. Possibly, hopefully. Anyway, here we are. Um, since I last saw you, the thing that I did in this is I took the little junk journal that I had made at I've made this as an insert to the folio. And what I did was I bound it with a pamphlet stitch into, into the folio. So I didn't think that you needed to see that because I very recently made a video where I showed how to do the pamphlet stitch in around 10 minutes. It, that's how long it took. It was my ten, a 10 minute video and I'll put it, I'll put the link to it below in case you want to see how to stitch this in. And the little book is, was very simple to put together. I just used whatever papers I had on hand that matched or went with this. Um, uh, not, not, not entirely perfectly, maybe, I don't know. But like this blue and purple aren't part of this, but I think they all go together really well. They kind of, they kind of meld. I don't know. It's, I really like the way it worked. Anyway, so I have the little, um, I have the little book, the little journal in there, and now what I want to do is to just make some other things to fill up the pockets, and there are quite a few actually. So I've got to get to work right away. I don't want this to be a, a terribly long video, but I have a fair amount of things to do for it. The first thing is I'm going to make a round journaling card. And the, the, this is just a piece of something that came in some packagings for a wheel for something or other. I don't know what. I'm going to put this underneath my work. And... Um, Let's see, I think, no, it doesn't fit. Okay, I can't put that over, that, that would be perfect. That's okay, it's all good. I'm going to use, and I will use this. Now, I'm going to quickly trace around it, and then I'll just cut it out. I mean, cut the paper out.
so this one is done nicely and I'm going to maybe put it in here I think that'll be perfect. So I'm going to just cover I'm just going to cover the um, the the plain side and leave the lines for for writing on. should be fine. If I bring this to the edge, I won't have to cut that side. That should work. I think it's really nice. It's a very old-fashioned kind of uh, print. So here's a journaling card all done. I think it's pretty good. Oh, here. Just trim it a bit. So this one can go in here somewhere. Maybe how about here? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think this one. There. That's nice. I think. Now, I have a few things that are actually have here is a journaling card from one of the kits that is in my store. Um, I don't really know which one. It's kind of pretty though, and so I had it around and I'm going to use it.
nice. And this is a tag that's also a journaling card and it came in a, like a pad of paper and it's pretty flimsy actually. But it's okay and I think I can stick it right here and it can be good to write on. I wouldn't tuck it in one of the big pockets because it'll migrate to the bottom and get lost. And here's another tag that I made a long time ago. And I think it could go right here. Very pretty and it kind of fits in with the general look of the look of the um, booklet that I'm making or that I've made. It's pretty much done. I have these really nice mini mouse deck of cards that's really big it's from a from the dollar store and it's for children of course but it's got it's real nice thick paper and everything and I'm, i don't really have time to make a card with it or a tag or something but it would be kind of good right there but i i have to work on it which I think I may do, but I don't know if I can do it in this session. There are a few other things here, though. That Oh, here's something. It's a little envelope. Isn't, is that ever cute, eh? Isn't that just... Ah, it's adorable. So let's put something in it. Hmm, what? Okay, some lined paper. And then I'll be able to use it to write something. I don't want it too big, but I don't, it doesn't have to be too small either. See, I'm not aiming for perfection. Well, I'm aiming to be perfectly imperfect. I'm aiming to be, um, I'm, I'm aiming for, for it to be hopefully beautiful, but not absolutely perfect, as in a factory made object. It's being made with love though, which I think is the most important ingredient for food and for art and probably other things as well anyway here here we have it very nice ready to work on and it can go in here yeah i i just adore really tiny things little things little little replicas of big things they make me happy and we need happiness, we love it. Oh, here's something. I can, I can use these words on the back of the envelope. Hey, it says, but my dreams are all my own, but I'm gonna take the but out. I'm just gonna say my dreams are all my own. This is from an, um, an old magazine and it was a, an ad for something or other. I can't remember what. And I love taking um, s sentences and parts of sentences out of, out of their context and making them my own. going to say my dreams are all my 
my own, and I think the my own will fit on there, but if it doesn't, that's no problem. Yeah, it will. Yay. Yay for our dreams. I love the way this looks. That's a kind of journaling, isn't it? Even though I'm not writing the the words in handwriting or typing, I, just to find them somewhere else and make them your own by changing them around or moving them into a different context, I think is marvelous. And I think it is true journaling as much as anything else is. Okay, that's good. Now, what do I have here? This isn't really a tag, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, these I made a long time ago. And I can just, I can use the backs for writing on. So. Nice. I know I keep saying nice, but it is nice. So I love these kind of tags. I bought a gazillion, I bought a giant package of them and I, I've had them for ages because it takes a while to use them all up. Um, and I, I will cover it, but I can't do that in this video because I really don't have time and you know, you know the process anyway, so. Um, there we have it okay now this one this one I made I made specifically for here for here no yes did I make it for no I didn't I made it for the other outside pocket I made it for here because you might remember if you watched the video where I put this all together I made this into a very shallow pocket it's actually got glue in this side, so I can stick something here. I thought it might be nice to have some music, but it's too plain for me. And also, we can write on the back. Well, I don't know if we can. I guess I can. Or if I give this to someone, they can. Nice. Now, do I want to put some pink or do I want to put some string? I think the pink is better than the string for this. And I want to do this a little bit pointy so that it will go through it so it will go through the hole without too much difficulty. So I put I put this end through the hole and the other end through the hole the same way and it's easier to do if I pull this pull it aside there and if it's see if it's pointy it will go through much easier than if it is straight and then I just They should have been e pretty much equal size, the two ends, but that's it's fine. Okay, so I pull this loop, I just put it here with my, 
fingers through it and I pull these two um, ends through the loop very easily and then I just pull it gently and fix it a bit and there we have it. Okay. Now you go in there. Now do I want this sticking out? Yeah, I think that looks good. I like it. It's fine. So do we have something in everything? Um, I have another a, another small envelope, not as small as the as the teeny one, and I think I get all these envelopes at the dollar store. I think I'll just stick it in so that in the well maybe I, I thought I ha had some some pink stationery around here, but you know I have so much stuff around that it's really hard to keep track of everything. And even before I do the video, before I do the video, I try to figure out all of the things that I'm going to need. And even some of the things that I just might need. And I put them right around here so I can find them without problems. But this one piece of paper I don't see. That doesn't matter. What, what can you do? I think I'll just... Um, Maybe I'll just make something. I can I can make something with with this. Um, it's pink and it has keys on it. Keys are really interesting. I love using them because of the symbolism. They they have a lot of meaning. Now I'll make it so that it can fit into this envelope. So I'm going to want to make it a bit smaller than the envelope, that's all. By cutting right here. I just really like to, um, to do things quickly. Now, this should fit in here perfectly now, but it'll probably be a bit too long. Although maybe not. No, no, it's actually, yeah, it's just a tiny bit too long. That's okay. There. That's very nice, and I can put other things in it later too, but at the moment this is good. No, it's not going to fit there. Oh dear. Where will it fit? I don't know. I have to, um, have to figure that out. We have a pocket here, a pocket here. I think it can maybe... Oh, there's one here that doesn't have a thing. There. Okay, I think that's good. Now, I think I have something... Oh, no, I don't have anything in this one. See, this is a beautiful little portfolio. It has pockets galore. And it's so much fun to be able to to be able to use them and have different things tucked in, tucked away. Little surprises, personal things, you know. These are these are all part of these um, these tags that I made a long time ago. I just really want to use them. So there there we have that one and and we have, do we have something in the big one? Oh, 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 no, oh dear. I know I have something that will fit though. I have a square piece of paper somewhere. I think that will, that 
that will work. I do believe. Yeah, I think this will work too, but I think it needs it. Uh, I don't want it to get lost in there. It needs a tag. A, a string. A ribbon. Whatever we want to call it. I think there's a special name for ribbons that are put through like this, but I can't remember what it is. Now remember it's putting the two the two parts through holding the holding the loop and then putting the strings through the loop and pulling and gently fixing it. There, nice. So you can go in here like this and if I decide later I will, in fact I'm deciding right now, I'm going to cut it a bit shorter. I think that's better. Okay, now the very, very, very last thing I have to do is to make a closure. This thing I think needs to be um, fastened and I have what I need. I made up my mind how I was going to do it. I'm just going to use this lacy seam binding and this. Very, very simple. Now the, the seam binding or the ribbon has to be pretty much even like the ends should line up and it shouldn't be all wonky like it should be flat okay now this is the back so I'm going to put it this is the simplest kind of closure on earth pretty much but it's a good one it's popular because it works and it's easy. So I'm just going to run a line of glue like that. And I'm going to stick this on it. And I'm going to try to make it pretty much in the middle, which or the middle of this um, oval or cir half circle. I'll just let that stay there. Now I have to decide, do I want to... Now this, I haven't made this decision. If I want it to be this way or this way, which I think this way looks better. It's more simple. thinner the glue line the better and I've got some pretty bad ones over there globby not good we don't like globby glue because it tends to make buckles ripples and bubbles three things that we can challenge ourselves to try to minimize unless we're looking for that effect now I do know that sometimes it's good, you know, sometimes we want the bubbles, but most of the time we can do without them. At least that's what I think. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit on here too. We really want this to, to last and to hold fast, which I believe it will. OK, 
Okay. There. Now I have my rock. You know, a very smooth stone works very well as a burnisher. I've said that before, so I don't need to go on and on. So good, it's going to be fine. Now, close the thing up and test it for tying together. How beautiful is that? I absolutely love it. And I'm going to be putting little bits of writing in it that I want to save. And I think I will also put a few photos in it. But mostly I'm going to write on the things that we've put in today. I don't mean we. The things that I've put in today. So um, I hope you've enjoyed working on this with me or watching me work on it, whatever. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video anyway. And I ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you, if you like it and if you want to watch more videos from me. And I, I totally appreciate the time that you've spent with me today. Take care now. And I wish you all the very, very best. Bye.